Hey everybody, uh, David Sharon here uh, with my friend uh, Bob Ludekin at Main and Elm. Uh, November 18th, we are gonna have our very first in-person fundraiser. It's been two years uh, since we've been able to get together and uh, meet. And we have some new and exciting things that we're gonna uh, be raising some money for. We have a new program that we're putting together called the H2H program. It's Homeless to Healthy, and it's a 12 month men's recovery program. So we are trying to raise a um, million dollars. Uh, it's a huge ask this year. Um, we have a family that donated a million dollars to us and uh, we're matching that million dollars with a million. So we're a little over $300,000 and we are asking all of our guests to come here to Maine and Elm uh, to visit with us and uh, help raise that, that second million dollars. And so today I am here right now with my good friend, Bob Ledekin, and uh, He's been, how long, have you, how long has this restaurant been around? This one has been about seven years and it's a challenge. It's been seven year challenge. Seven and Tara challenge. is absolutely doing a great job here. And my designer has done a surf perfect job. Awesome. And so we're gonna be closing this down in the beginning of December. Yep. And so consequently, we're so glad you're gonna have a fundraiser here. And it'd be kind of like our last hurrah. Yeah. And it'll be really fun. And I'm just so excited about your new program. It's, uh, I guess you realize I've been working with the homeless and Street Life Ministry, St. Francis Ministries for the last number of years. And about two years ago when this pandemic started i developed a fundraiser and we were able to raise about fifteen thousand dollars and about two-thirds of that went for the street life ministry for their help and yep, i do remember saint, that saint francis center and then i um i've been in this business for many many years and i love what i do and if you can if you can help people that's all that matters we've there got you go. I think four little league teams we sponsor every year, yeah. and we've helped you guys a little bit. Oh yeah. And, uh, I just really enjoy working with the, the homeless people because when I was 10 years old, I was out selling stuff on the street. Mm. So I, I am familiar with this a little bit. There you go. So anyway, do you have any questions for me? Like, <laughs> I do. Well, I, do. I have one question for you. <laughs> okay, sounds and good. And <laughs> I'm not going to say it, because it has to do with your beard. <laughs> and I started giving David a bad time this, today when I saw him. But his, his beard is kind of looks nice, but he made a deal with me that he was gonna shave it for his wife. Oh no, here so it goes. So I think that is really good. <laughs> so we gotta have, you know, I've gotta have fun in life. And that's what my joy is. So, oh my god. Let's gosh. see, you got any questions for me? <laughs> now that he just put my beard on Front Street. Um, so, <laughs> I don't even know how to, <laughs> we're going to have to edit that. Anyway, um, so no, we, we we've had we've had three, this this will be our third fundraiser we've had here. Yeah, it's been cool. It's, it's been, been cool. cool. So I'm just honored that we're going to be able to close Main and Elm with our fundraiser. Um, this has been a great location for us. We've had uh, real, some really good uh, speakers. Uh, this time we're gonna have the chief of police. We're gonna have uh, one, of the, the, one of the leaders of Life Moves. Uh, and we're gonna have a couple testimonies. Um, we have some raffle baskets that we're gonna be auctioning off. So it's gonna be a really good time. We got some good food, some drinks, and uh, some time to hang out and hear about um, this recovery program that we're about ready to put together. And uh, so Bob, you and I were talking a little bit about um, what this recovery program looks like and what we're gonna do. We're talking about doing a house type kind of a model where we'll, we're looking for a three to four bedroom home. Where are you gonna find a place like that at a reasonable place? Well, well, nowhere in the Bay Area is reasonable. No. None. Uh -huh. So we're, we're looking to try to do a three to five year lease somewhere uh, here in Redwood City. On a, on a uh, home? On a home. So these guys will be able to come and feel at home yes yes so the the deal will be is we're going to have a separate location uh which will be kind of more of an office building an office setting for our folks to go to the recovery program and they will go to school during the day and be transported from 
from home to school and then back to home. Um, as you and I were talking about, most of our folks have been in an institution, so they know what an institution feels like. So what we're trying to do is take away from that feeling. So at the end of the day, when they come out of school, they'll be picked up by their house resident manager and then be brought back to a home. So when they walk through the front door, they'll see a living room with a couch and, a, and chairs and tables, a kitchen, you, you know, their own bedroom. And um, so they can feel at home where it'll still be program, right? They'll have Bible studies, they're gonna have dinner together, they're gonna go out with their house resident manager to AA meetings and NA meetings I, and I stuff. Think, I think this is absolutely great. Yes. I really do. And you're gonna be able to use, from what you've said, Jesus Christ and able to work with them. Yes. Christianity and everything. So I have a question for you. Yes. How long do you think this is going to take you to get started? Well, seeing that we're trying to raise a million dollars mm -hmm. to match the million dollars, mm -hmm. we're a little over $300,000. I will say, there's a little over $300,000 that we've raised with very little um, push and, and we have had no fundraisers to this point. We've done a little bit of advertisement, but not a whole lot, which is obviously tells you God's, God's in this. Well, I think my feeling is mm -hmm. that I've been fortunate enough to deal with you and I know you're really pretty honest. So I'm gonna give you a year's rent free. Awesome. I'm going to pay whatever cost to help you get this together. And I will do that for these guys. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, that's what I want to see happening in life, helping other people. It's life is hard for these people. And I'll be more than happy to donate $50,000 for your lease for the first year. Thank and you. possibly we can go further than that. Well, I appreciate that. So that 50,000 will then turn into 100,000. So thank you. I really appreciate I, that. I just want to help you guys. You, you've done a lot for this community and there's nothing more in life than be able to give back, which I've gotten. I've been very, very fortunate in my businesses and you've been very supportive of us. And so, yes, I'll be more than happy to write you a check for that. Thank you so much, Bob. That's awesome. That was kind of, you didn't suspect that, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't. I thought you were going to challenge me. With your was, beard? With my beard. <laughs> but you kind of already did. Yeah. Now, now my wife's going to see this and I'm going to get in trouble if I don't. That's okay. That's <laughs> You'll be much more handsome. Maybe yeah. by the party. Here we go. Here we go. Anyway, <laughs> I'll be more than happy. And I'll ask some of my friends to help out with it. Yeah. And Absolutely. Uh, you Thank never you. know what's going to happen, but no. I wish you I wish you all the program because these guys who want to work the program, they will be successful. Yeah, a I good do agree. percentage of them. Our our goal our goal is not not to just you know I don't know. There's so many there's so many things that we that everybody's been trying to do to to throw ideas at the homeless situation. Just do very small. But we just want to go small. But we, but we know that we know um, a few things. We know that Christ works, and we know that if we if we go go smaller than bigger, we have more intimate time with these guys to deal with the mental health issues, the family trauma that they've gone through on a more one on one basis. We also know that if we do it this way with the home and and in a smaller model, uh, a little bit at a time, we can then build this program to be stronger and our, when our folks graduate, we'll have a lot less um, uh, relapse rate. So the goal is, is that when they, when they leave our program, that they have the tools in their tool belt to continue to survive. I remember a couple of years ago, I met one of your people who worked with you, mm -hmm. but he said he was recovering he was a recovering homeless addict, mm -hmm. and it was through Street Life Ministry mm -hmm. that did this, and it really impressed me. It's uh, 
cool. It's really nice to see these guys, and I think he's working with you now at one yes. time. I'm yes. not sure, but yes. I, I think your program's good. And yeah. uh, anything I can do to help it. Thank and you, And you Bob. guys get out there. I hope you help them too. And come to the party at Main and Elm yeah. on November 18th. November 18th. And, From uh, 6 to 8. I'll probably even be there. You should be. Uh, I, <laughs> that's not my fun things to do, <laughs> but I'll probably be here. Anyway, I just wish you the best of luck, David. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate that. And thanks for the $50,000. You're welcome. This Shoot. will go to help that's a awesome. lot of people. That's cool. Good. Yeah. So thank you so much, Bob. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. And we hope to see you out here November 18th, Maine and Elm. This will be an awesome party. We'll have the whole place to ourselves. We'll have music, speakers. Uh, food and drinks. So come help us uh, throw, if anything, come here and give Bob a big hug and, and tell him thank you for all the work. He's done a tremendous work in the community. He's and you come here and see David <laughs> with no beard. <laughs> Darn it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for everything. All right, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. Awesome. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. This beard, this guy, I guess I'm going to have to take it off. Ugh! <laughs>